Hi guys, it's Sam from Mana Performance. I'm just going to do a little video today explaining how to set up gear ratios and therefore a gear display um, using an ECU Master EMU Black. This means you can then do boost by gear and also have a gear display on your ADU dashboard or any other dashboard you, you choose to use. So I've got a file open from a car I've done recently which I know I've set the gear up on. So initially we'll go to Sensor setup, VSS gearbox, and VSS, open this window, and then open a log window for VSS and gears, and also what were there, open up the graph. So you probably won't need to open the graph if you're doing this on the road. So I've already set up, I've already opened a log. If you're doing this on the road, you won't need to open the log because it'll already be there. First of all, you need to work out what speed source you've got. Uh, the van that I did had uh, a Hall Effect sensor, so this is all set up. You then need to scale the speed sensor using its speed ratio. So the best thing to do is to drive along either on the road or a dyno uh, obviously on the dyno you can get speed readout from the dyno itself or you can drive along the road and use a GPS to get, get it nice and accurate um, so once you've done this here we then move on to the gear ratios now these aren't the ratios of the actual gearbox as you can see from the numbers so the way we do this if we go back to the log and find a point where we're driving along. Okay, so as you can see down here, we're in neutral, and here we're in first gear. So we can see that the vehicle speed is 29 kilometers an hour up here, and then it gives us a gear ratio of 19. So we enter that into this box, which is 18. Uh, the tolerance is 5%. And gear number two, we can see on our log is gear ratio 32. We've got 31, three, 49, and we've got 49. Four. We haven't got much in fourth, and it's on the coast down. <clears throat> it's 17, we got 68, and fifth is 92, and we've got 92 and a half. So, as you can see, this is all working correctly. So, basically, you just enter the values into here. If you're so the gear detection type is calculated, which is what we want the speed source, we can also use GPS module or wheel speed or CAN wheel speed if you're running a standard car with CAN bus support so for this one we want this and that's it, it's easy as that <laughs>